The Dr. Fossil Show is brought to you by Health Tips Media. The Dr. Fossil Show is intended for health education purposes only and complies with all HIPAA regulations. All of the CDC guidelines for COVID-19 safety were followed while filming this episode of The Dr. Fossil Show. of the Dr. Fossil Show. We're here with Dr. Fossil this afternoon to discuss the global pandemic with this COVID-19. Welcome, Dr. Fossil. Thank you, audience, for watching this show. Uh, today, we will be talking about the uh, uh, global uh, shape of the pandemic. Uh, although we have been talking about the impact of U.S. Uh, pandemic of COVID-19, uh, but um, again, we live in a different world now. It is a uh, global society because we travel and we travel fast because of the airplanes and different mode of transportations than in the past. So the impact of uh, that transportation and travel is a far more than it used to be in the past. Um, so it's very important for us to keep an eye on what's happening in the world, in our neighborhood, in our neighboring countries and uh, countries which are not next to us, but they're still connected. For example, India. So, as you know, um, it's really a bad situation in India at this time. They have a um, lot of uh, uh, deaths and infections going on for various reasons. And we'll talk that in, in a few moment about that. And uh, we also want to learn from that so it doesn't happen here. So again, as I say, it's not over till it's all over. Thank you, Dr. Fazel. We're hearing about various mutations of the virus. Um, can you help us out and explain some of the different variations and mutations of the virus, Dr. Fazel? Yeah, so uh, we call it double mutation. Uh, that means that the original virus has been mutated uh, at two different uh, genomic levels. Uh, we have double mutation from UK, but we also have double mutations from India as well. They are not the same, although they are both double mutations, but they're not exactly the same mutation. So uh, Indian mutation is actually more contagious than UK mutation. So remember, like in USA, we, majority of the infection, we, now we have uh, the uh, UK variant, uh, but we haven't got uh, the Indian variant yet, which is actually, uh, as you can see uh, in the pictures behind me that there are a lot of people are infected, a lot of people are dying, and the reason is that uh, they have a different variant. They do have a UK variant too, but and on top of that, they have uh, the Indian variant, which is also a double mutation, but that mutation is different than the UK mut mutation, leading it to more contagious and to some extent more uh, deadly as well. And we have seen some worse pattern that it is affecting more of children and then affecting the adults. Um, and then uh, since they have a different family structure, they live together. And there's a lot of uh, population in India, about 1.2 billion people. So uh, the virus have a lot more um, chances to mutate because we have such a big host there. And that's unfortunate, but that's a fact. And that has caused to at least double mutation at this time. We don't know what is coming next, but if it become more deadly than what it is now, it's really a bad news. Now you can catch up with all of our previous shows on all Roku devices. Simply search for the Dr. Fossil Show channel and add it to your home screen. View our videos online by visiting our website at www.drfalzoshow.com.
our videos are available on YouTube by searching for The Dr. Fossil Show. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The Dr. Fazzo Show is available in multiple provider office waiting rooms across Yuma, Arizona. Don't forget to get your copy of Health Tips magazine and read about this interview, currently distributed across Yuma, Arizona. detail on the double mutation even though you have two different variants of the double mutation it just means that the say the UK variation that mutated and then it mutated again but in a different area the India one mutated and then mutated differently but that does not make them both the same exactly Is that correct that's correct so they have two different mutations than the original virus covered as we do the genomic sequence genetic sequence of these viruses and we call it um, mutation of concern and definitely a threat. So what we have now is definitely a threat, which is a double mutation from India, and it has a different area of the DNA has been, a different part of the virus has been um, mutated as compared to the UK variant. And in India, they have different situation. I think it's not just a double mutation which cause uh, such a um, heavy toll on the life, but um, uh, they have a different uh, system there of healthcare delivery. They don't have that uh, strong infrastructure as we have in USA. Besides that, recently they were having um, religious uh, events as well as um, uh, political rallies. And because of that, you know, there was some lack or oversight in using the mass and social distancing. Uh, initially, they did practice all that, and they were fine. And then in the last few weeks or last few months, uh, those two events caused uh, lack of uh, social distancing and sanitization and uh, mask wearing. It led to um, uh, more infections. More infection led to more replication of virus. More replication lead to more chance for virus to mutate. Then it come up with a virus which is uh, immune to um, a well, first is more contagious, and number two is more uh, deadly. Number three is more have a different uh, 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 epidemic pattern affecting children mostly than adults, and then uh, adults get affected because they live together, and um, and on the top of that, obviously, when you have such a huge population. Uh, no infrastructure would be enough to sustain that kind of crisis. And that's unfortunate, uh, but that's what's happening. So the ramification of that is that now, since we already have this uh, new virus, it's there, and who knows what's coming next. We might have a triple mutation, and if that happens, it might end up uh, to, um, you know, something like a more, uh, more, more death rate than what it is, which is already high, high enough. Uh, and then it can transmit to the rest of the world. And that's a concern. That's a concern to the USA as well. So um, we have to be careful that, you know, it might not, the new virus might not be uh, immune to the vaccination we already got. Plus, it might not uh, also be immune to the treatment we have if you do get infection and end up in the hospital, like remdesivir and uh, the plasma, the, the immune plasma, you know. So. Um, that's why I say it's not over, it's all over, although we got it under control here to some extent. Here we also see some res resistance in getting uh, vaccination now because of the, some rare side effect with Johnson & Johnson and other vaccination. And I do understand that each uh, person have a choice, you know, of saying no to the vaccine. But uh, I tell to my audience and to my patients that um, Let's look at what's happening in other countries which are not uh, following the full guidelines. Uh, uh, like Brazil, uh, look at um, um, India, you know, for example. So again, they were, initially they got it and they were fine. 
and somewhere they lost the track of uh, what kept them safe uh, and now we have a very very bad situation so it can happen anywhere including the USA if we don't follow uh, the things which protected us in the first place so we still have to keep doing what is absolutely necessary take the vaccine um, again um, you know there's some rare side effect of some vaccines for example blood clots which can move from legs and cause to and go to the lungs but as long as you're aware of uh, those rare side effects and you know doctors are aware of those side effects they can do early detection and treat it mostly those side effects are treatable and we have to look at the bigger picture uh, risk versus benefit what is more risky so I think um, we need to get to the herd immunity we also at the same note, we also have to make sure that we do not get new strain here because the new strain treatable with uh, the current uh, arsenal we have in our hand, uh, like Indian uh, double mutant, uh, mutant virus or uh, even triple virus, you know. So that's why we need to do everything in our uh, power, plus, uh, to some extent, uh, you know, have some kind of safeguard in place in immigration. So when people travel, uh, we need to know their immune status so we can prevent the new strain to spread here, uh, you know, because then all efforts will go in vain. So that's what we have to be looking forward to, that, you know, it's not over. We're almost there, but not be there yet. And we, even we get the herd immunity, um, you know, if we get the new strain, it might be a new pandemic starting all over again. So that will be really bad for the economy and for health and everything else. So we need to be uh, vigilant for those uh, things around us. That's why it is not just in what's happening in the USA, but what's happening globally. We have to keep our eyes open and look around us and uh, learn lessons from the countries which did not follow the guidance, uh, social distancing, sanitization, um, and uh, immunization. Although I know in India it's a different situation. Uh, infrastructure is not there. Only 2% of people have been vaccinated, and it's a big country. Uh, so nothing is going to be uh, perfect because it is what it is. Uh, but here we have a different infrastructure, so we should fully utilize uh, that uh, infrastructure in our country here in the USA and uh, stay out of trouble. Now you can catch up with all of our previous shows on all Roku devices. Simply search for the Dr. Falso Show channel and add it to your home screen. View our videos online by visiting our website at www.drfalsoshow.com. Our videos are available on YouTube by searching for The Dr. Fossil Show. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The Dr. Fossil Show is available in multiple provider office waiting rooms across Yuma, Arizona. Don't forget to get your copy of Health Tips magazine and read about this interview, currently distributed across Yuma, Arizona. Do you think if the vaccination rate had been higher in India, it would have helped contain the virus a little bit more? Or since it's attacking the children, the children were not getting the getting the vaccine in the beginning. What what impact would well, that have had on it? Uh, definitely, the vaccine is the way to go. Uh, and unfortunately, even with everything they have in their hand, they have only two percent of their population been vaccinated, which is very little. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at it, they have. Uh, if you if you get to get with the herd immunity, you have to have uh, two billion shots because you have to have two shots, right? 
So you have to have around 85 to 75 to 80 percent of people vaccinated. Now we're talking about 1.2 billion people, you know, so 75 percent of that would be around 1 billion. So now you have to have 2 billion shots versus we are sending like, you know, and again, it's not our fault in any fashion because uh, we can do what we can do because we are all, the whole world is in trouble. Uh, so we're sending uh, around 4 million shots uh, to India to help them out. Um, but um, from Johnson & Johnson, and we know it has some side effects, but again, you know, we have to look at the bigger picture and those side effects are treatable. Um, so I know it's like a, like a bucket, it's like a drop in the bucket, but um, we have to start from somewhere. It's always the first step, which is important and an end journey. Uh, so, but again, it's not just the USA who can do it alone. It has to be other countries, European nations, everybody else have to join forces together because it will keep, this virus will keep coming back. So it's, it's, it's in our best interest that it's not just for their interest, but also for our interest that this uh, pandemic should be ha handled rather aggressively and quickly. And with travel, I know they have restricted travel from India. Is What are the chances of somebody traveling from India to another country and then coming into the United States just to avoid being um, stopped because they were coming from India? Do they track that through the immigration? Yeah, so some, yes, the immigration? Uh, they have already, I mean, some countries have a banned travel from India from and to from India. At this moment, we have not done it yet, but India by itself have done it, so they have banned blood travel, uh, put have a restriction on the travel to different countries. So they are try they are actively preventing from from the base, from right from India by itself. So they are pretty involved in containing the epidemic right there and then. It's not perfect, so you have to be careful, you know. So um, I think the only thing that we can we can uh, I I can think of is that. Uh, you know, since they don't have vaccine, and I don't know how many months they're going to take to get vaccine. Uh, at the current rate, uh, there was uh, it will take them 10 years to get the fully vaccination. Oh goodness! So I know we don't have 10 years for that kind of pandemic. So uh, I think the best thing would be to do, uh, which works in the first place, was masks, uh, social distancing, hand sanitization, and maybe lockdowns. Do what need to be done uh, to contain uh, the pandemic, and then also do. Uh, prevent the stress from the healthcare system, and then we buy some. Then these guys buy some time, and hopefully, then the whole world uh, jump in to, all together to give them vaccine, so the life can go back to normal. As I said, this is not just uh, a USA thing; it is a global thing, and I have to make our audience aware of that. That okay, we know we are seem like almost there, but again, this can can worse at any time, uh, and it would be just starting a whole new pandemic, a different virus because it's mutating so fast. Remember, the virus mutates only when it replicates. It replicates in the living host. That's where it lives. Right. And if you have a 1.2 billion people who have virus inside, you got a, a monstrous host which has a huge capability of replicating this virus. More it replicates, more mutation you're going to get. And you need just one bad mutation to make it very, very deadly, which can spread worldwide all over again as it was last year and then again as I said it would not affect me it would not be uh, contained by the tools we already have developed with billions of dollars and a lot of loss of lives uh, so that's what my concern is that uh, you know um, just keep your eyes open be vigilant and uh, look at the global picture and I think it is also important for people who have not taken a vaccine to look at those countries, uh, see what's happening with them. As a matter of fact, in India at this moment, they are uh, selling uh, Moderna or other vaccine in black market. Like, for example, Moderna is being sold in black market for $100 per shot. Um, well, here we're getting it for free, so we should be blessed. We should, we should be feeling blessed that we are getting here for free. And we should embrace it and get it instead of saying no because you can see in other countries like India or Brazil, for example, uh, when they get an infection, they're begging for oxygen. I mean, you can see the basic need, oxygen. Uh, so, uh, so here we are not that bad. So let's embrace the vaccine and get, let's get it and let's get over, over this pandemic once we're good.
Right. Not so good. So even though the United States is on the road to recovery, we still should not, we shouldn't waver from the original plan of wearing the mask, stepping up on keeping things clean and keeping things sanitized. Don't relax on anything because we could at any moment have. Yeah, I will say all hands on deck for now. All hands on deck, again, you know, we don't have to go too far. Just look at the videos, look at the picture from uh, India, see what's happening there. Uh, it can ha happen at anywhere if we fail to follow uh, the initial guidelines and initial precautions. So, I, I, as I said, you know, all hands on deck till so, so it's not over till it's, it's all over. And with that note, I think uh, we'll uh, call it a day. And um, I hope uh, you can make some important information in this show. Uh, Wendy, do you have any questions? I think that about covers it for today. Thank you very much. Thank you, audience, for joining us for the May 2021 Dr. Fossil Show. And thank you, Dr. Fossil, for joining us as well. Thank you, audience, for watching this show. And God bless. And we'll be back next month with more information.